Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0497 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0497 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system low purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer seen a problem with the EVAP system. And the EVAP system was created to keep all the gas vapors inside of the gas tank so they don't escape into the atmosphere. They get sent back into the engine and get burnt off. And basically the onboard computer seeing an issue with this. And the most common problem with the Honda with the P0497 code is going to be the purge valve. And the purge valve is just a simple device that opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape and go into the atmosphere. And if it gets stuck open or gets stuck closed, then it could cause issues. You know, nothing could flow through it. So they're a common problem with this code. And usually what everybody would go and check out and, and replace or test. And they're, and they're low-cost items. They're located inside the engine compartment on the engine. They can vary like the exact location, like on a chargers. They're located on the, to the left, up against the firewall, and different locations like this, or exactly on the engine on many vehicles like the Accord. But they're si pretty simple to replace. They'll have like two, three, four screws. They'll have two hoses going to it and a, an electrical connection. One thing to mention is that the electrical connection, be sure that it's plugged in good because, because if this wiring's bad or this harness is not connected good, it can cause the same symptoms as a bad purge valve. Uh, and keep in mind that if there's an open or a short inside of these wiring going back to the ECM, to the onboard computer, then that can also cause issues. So be sure the wiring is good and that harness is plugged in good. And, and if possible, go ahead and replace it because that's going to be a common problem with this. It's not the only cause, but it can be one of the most common causes is the purge valve. And next up is going to be the evap canister. And so the evap canister is located usually up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. It'll have like three hoses going to it. It has different components on it, uh, different seals that could fail. And if it goes bad, it can cause a P0497 code. If the charcoal canister gets all clogged up in there, then it won't be have no flow, can't be going through it. So it could cause an issue. And so number two, the thing to check is going to be that evac canister. And also keep in mind that the gas cap is part of the system. It needs a seal so that the whole system can go into a slight vacuum for everything to work when the car is running. So be sure to check that gas cap. Be sure that seal's good, that it's locked in all the way, things like this. Well, usually a bad gas cap would give another code. It is something to keep in mind. It is part of the EVAP system. So, so be sure to check the gas cap. Be sure it's got a good seal and everything. And if you've done all that and you tested everything, the EVAP canister, the purge valve, the gas cap, and it's still not working or you're still getting this code, then the next thing to do would be start checking all these hoses that run around the whole EVAP system. And if you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they'd have a smoke machine and they feed it into the system and they'd check where the smoke came out, where it, where it came out, and they know there was a leak somewhere and they repair it. But if you don't, just go around to each of these connections, like the purge valve, the EVAP canister. Be sure that the, when, you, when you're looking at the connections, that there's no cracks or anything like that going on right here, and that everything looks, looks good, and that it's not leaking, or at least no obvious leaks. And uh, another part of this EVAP system is also the fuel tank pressure sensor. And while not too common, if they, this is where the onboard computer gets all its information. So if it does go bad, there might not be a problem in the system. This sensor could be bad, and the, so the onboard computer just thinks that there's a problem. Like I said, that's not extremely common, but it does happen sometimes. So keep in mind, you have a fuel tank pressure sensor in there that's sending all this data back to the onboard computer. And, uh, and you know, as always, be sure to check that wiring going to that sensor too. Bad wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And so that's basically it. That's all the main components of a Honda EVAP system and what you can go about and how you go about troubleshooting and checking a Honda with the P0497 code. I just wanted to give a real quick basic overview of how you would go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.